Hello guys, welcome to my channel and to another upgrade unboxing video. This box arrived while I was on vacation and there were a lot of spoilers on Instagram. So I know which medium is inside, but I tried to look away as fast as possible. So I don't know the exact products, but we will find that out together now. So we have Marcus this time and I have never heard of that brand before, Spectra Ad, do know that, but it's the Upgrade Edition. And we have some blues, yellow, green, beige, ochre, okay, yeah. let's open that. So first of all, we have Arctic Blue and Columbia Blue. And then we have Yellow Ochre, Pink Beige, Straw Yellow, and Spring Green. And we have three colored pencils. And I have no idea how to pronounce the name. But we have red, some dark blue, and something that looks like ochre on this end, but here it looks a lot more greenish. So that's going to be interesting. And then we have a Marvi Le Pluma pen. I guess it's white. Okay, yeah, it reminds me of Posca pants, so I guess it's like an acrylic marker maybe, or something else. It just says pigmented opaque ink. And last but not least, we have a fine liner, also by Marvi, and it's 0 0.3 millimeters. bottle post and an art print by Alba B B G G Ooh that looks fancy a Bristol sketch pad made specially for upgrade best for pencils pens ink markers very smooth and white, and it's 185 GSM, 15 sheets, and made in Europe. So I really like that because in the last boxes there were only like three sheets of paper, and that's not much to be honest. And we got some cute stickers. So let's find out what the topic is, and it is mystical interaction. But before we work on this topic, let's get swatching. So since we got 15 sheets this time, I think I will swatch on the actual paper. And we'll start with the markers. So this is straw yellow. We have a broad now. Ooh, this is super light. And we have a brush nib. So let's add some yellow ochre. I'm a little confused by these pens because, as you can see, this dark gray marks the side with the broad nib, and I'm so confused because it's exactly the other way around with Copics, because it indicates where the brush nib is, so I always 
open these on the wrong side first because I like to start with a brush nib. Next up we have pink beige. This one is spring green and this time I'll open it on the right side. Next up we have Arctic Blue, and again the wrong side. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I like this color. And the last marker is Columbia Blue, again. <laughs> oh boy. So I will go over these swatches again because I want to know how dark we can get with one marker. So layering these markers actually works quite well. It's a little hard to see with the yellow. However, all the other colors look absolutely fine. So let's see if you can blend them just as well as you can layer them. Oh no, we got a little bit of bleeding here. So... Maybe I shouldn't blend that hard. But it also bled through on here and I didn't go too hard with this one. Whatever. So I tried several combinations of colors and these blended really, really well. The other ones were a little hard to blend. And I tried to mix some green, but apparently the yellow isn't strong enough. <laughs> so next up, let's try out the colored pencils. So first we have a red, which is number 31. This feels really nice. However, like always when you're working with colored pencil on very smooth paper, it's a little hard to get enough pigment on here. It can look a little streaky, but it's absolutely fine here in my opinion. So next up we have blue, which is number 50. And the mysterious green or maybe ochre color is number 27. Okay, so it's definitely not green, it's ochre. Let's compare it to this ochre. Oh, this will be great for shading. Okay, so this looks really good and I'm really hyped because markers and colored pencils are one of my favorite combinations ever. So I'm really happy that this time markers and colored pencils were included. So let's have a look at the fine liner. So it feels really nice. However, what I really want to know is if this pen is smudge proof. 
So I will let these lines dry for a while and then go in with the lightest marker so we can see if there is any smudging or whatever. And last but not least, the La Plume marker. To me this font is very confusing because at first I thought this was an A but maybe it's an E, so I'm not sure. Yay, there's paint! So, since it's white, we'll try it on some of the swatches. So while it's wet, it looks super opaque, but sometimes if you let white markers dry, they will become a little dull. So I hope this is not the case and it stays as vibrant as it looks now. So the paint is dry now and it's not 100% as bright as it used to be, but it's okay. Let's see if it smudges or not. I hope it doesn't. Okay, I am impressed. I'm really impressed. There is a little bit of smudging, but it's not too bad. It's actually really good. Okay, I'm really excited for this box because all the materials worked very well so far, so I can't wait to use them in an actual artwork. Lately, I've been experimenting a lot with illustrations, so I wanted to go in that direction since the prompt was pretty much perfect for it. And after a while of thinking, a little bunny in a forest of huge mushrooms appeared in my mind, as well as some butterflies which may have guided them to this enchanted forest. Since the fine liner turned out to be smudge proof, I started with the line work. I don't know what about you guys, but I don't like adding the line work after coloring everything in. It kind of feels wrong to me, even though there is no right or wrong in art, but yeah, I don't know. I just prefer to do the line work first and then do the coloring. Therefore, I was very happy about the smudge proof pen. However, doing the line work is probably my least favorite part because I feel like I'm just not good at it. My lines always turn out a little wonky in a way that even a single line might look a little messy. But at the same time, I really enjoy doing the shading with fine liners, so that's pretty counterintuitive, but yeah, that's me. Therefore, I was a little insecure about the line work and went back and forth adding thicker lines here and there and adding some more details, but in the end it turned out in a way I liked. Lately, if I get a gut feeling while drawing, like maybe I should add some more details and my brain is like, um, wait, you could ruin it, you know? I've been trying to silence the voice in my head and just force myself to do what I'm not sure about because in the end, it's just art and if it turns out to be the wrong decision, you know better next time. I think we're so used to quote-unquote perfect artworks because of Instagram and Pinterest and co that making not so perfect art for most of us just feels wrong. But reality is that you need to explore and make mistakes in order to learn and get better. Even the great masters did tons of studies before working on the final piece. And I would assume that probably 80% of what artists of every skill level draw is what they feel crap. So we should normalize the ugly stages of an artwork and making decisions we're not happy with in the end because it's just part of the process. Now back to the drawing. After finally completing the line work, I went in with the markers and colored pencils and I love, love, love this combination. 
I actually use this combination a lot in my drawings in general because it's just so much faster than only using colored pencils since you can cover big areas quite quickly with markers and then use the colored pencils on top for some texture and details. So I will rate the choice of medium for this upgrade box a straight 10 out of 10. Everything worked really well together and considering the materials, fine liner, great, markers, great, white ink pen, great, paper in general, good, but I have to admit, if you blend a lot, there might be some bleeding onto the next sheet of paper. So keep that in mind, but it wasn't too bad, so that's just a minor downside. So all in all, a great box, probably my favorite one to date. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye.